All right, so we played this game with the green works. We're gonna try it with the ego now, but in reverse. I'm gonna take the the ego comes with a uh, three eight, uh, excuse me a three two five eight tooth drive, which is uh, a, quite a bit bigger than a seven tooth drive, which provides it with the thirty meter per second chain speed. So what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna make a cut with this thing. We're going to make a couple of cuts and then we're going to swap and we're going to try a couple of cuts with the lower speed, higher torque and see what difference that makes on the Ego's performance. Just kind of uh, to see if it's modifiable, if it gains you anything or if you're better off sticking with what it came with because uh, sometimes the engineers really know what they're doing and sometimes they miss a thing or two. So can we catch them? Or did they know what they were talking about? Let's find out. My experience has been that uh, it can go either way. Sometimes they're right on point, and sometimes it's like, oh, you, uh, you missed it. So, let's give it a shot here. <clears throat> so, there's a little snap right here. And we're just going to take this... I'll, I'll give you an up close on how to swap this ring. So, see that snap ring? And I got this little little screwdriver. I think it's, I don't know, tractor supply or harbor freight. Nothing crazy. But it's rugged enough but small enough to fit right in there. And I just twist it. And that snap ring comes right off. I'm going to try to, I'm actually going to try to aim that down so it doesn't shoot away. Now I'll use the bigger one to get it the rest of the way. The uh, scrunch. So that came off without shooting into the distance. And we'll take this big 3258 and we're going to swap it out for a 3257. And that's going to change the diameter enough so that we're going to go from a 30 meter per second speed to about a uh, 25 meter per second speed and I'll probably need both hands to put that back on so you get the idea from there same thing I'll just take take that snap ring <clears throat> And I know I'm blocking it with my hand, but that's because I don't want it to shoot away. And I'm just pushing it down with the flat part of this. And it's on there. We did our cuts with the higher speed. Now we'll go a little lower speed, but we'll have more torque. So I would think if you're doing really heavy work and you're running into problems with heating stuff up, because um, you're leaning really hard on the log. I think that's where this is going to help out. And hopefully we got enough adjustment here to take the slack up on the chain. And it looks like we do. Love the captured nuts. I really do. These, these aren't quite as slick as the ones on the green works, but anything is better than having to put the nuts down somewhere else and running the risk of them falling on the ground or losing them. Captured nuts is great. Love it. Alright, let's see what kind of a difference this makes on the log.
fourth try. All right, so the results were very minimal difference in time. I mean, you could almost call it even. I think uh, I think I got a slightly better best time with the uh, the eight tooth one that comes with it. But I'll tell you, from my experience with the saw, if you're going to be really leaning on it and cutting a lot of wood, maybe that uh, smaller diameter one that offers more torque would keep the battery from getting so hot because I've definitely run into problems with the battery overheating when I lean on it too much. So maybe the little bit of slower speed and more torque would help it if you're really working it with big 20 inch wood. Um, maybe we'll do a test on that in the future, but that's what we got in terms of switching it. It really basically doesn't make much of a difference. Um, so again, you know, based on the experience, I think it might be useful if you're really gonna be working that thing to use that uh, 325 seven tooth to, to gain the torque. So I hope, hope that's helpful to anybody out there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.